Deliverance Church. This is our 12 noon worship service. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. We're located at 830 Pepperidge Road in Westbury, New York, 11590. We welcome you to come out and worship with us. We did release a church app that will be beneficial to you that you can just download from your Google Play Store or your Apple Store. Amen. It's free, no charge. Amen. For the advancement of the kingdom of God. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to his name. Without further ado, and we salute all the fathers here. Oh, yeah. Amen. Cornerstone Deliverance Church, we salute every father. Stand on your feet and let's give a hand clap for the fathers. Hallelujah. I'm talking to the young people now. Amen. This is God's time. Come on and stand on your feet if your legs work. Give a hand clap for the fathers today. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to his name. Hallelujah. Amen. You can remain resting on your feet as we call forth the man of God on today. Elder Roland Barnes that came to deliver this word all the way from Middletown, New York. Amen. And we thank God for the man of God. Come on and give God a hand. Praise for the man of God. Hallelujah. 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 Yes. I won't go back. Hey, hey, hey. I won't go back. I mean, come all the way from Middletown to come back to Westbury. Amen. This is my home, too. Amen. And um, I just want to say, Thank you, Jesus. I didn't know how I got here today because it was not planned, but some things happened, and God made provision yes. for the man of God to come. Yes. Not only, I still didn't understand it. When I was on the bus, I was praying and asking God for a word to speak, but already he was in the midst of something that was stirring about the souls. See, my sister sees so much on the on-time word that when you do God's business, yes, yes. he'll take care of yours. Yes. You know, and I came here on a prayer, and I just want y'all to know that I believe that it was ordained for me to be here today. I don't care how many people it was, but God said, I'll give 99 for one. Yes. See, hallelujah. there was a soul that needed to be saved. And some things had happened last night with my nephew, and I got the call 5 o'clock in the morning that he had got shot. And I said, the enemy is trying to take something. Yes. So when the enemy tries to take something, yes. that means that we need to go out and try to take something from hell. So when God brought me on the bus, I said, I'm going to start doing things the way the enemy is doing it. I'm going to start taking them people out of his hand and bringing them back to God. Because we allow the enemy to take them out of God's hand, and we're not doing nothing. Come on, Jesus. So it's time for the people of God, who yes. God has given us power, yes. to go out and start taking back. Hallelujah. So it would happen to be that as we, I got off the bus, Something happened that the spirit just moved in my sister, Pastor Apostle Asia, and I said that brother right there was on the bus with me, and there was something strange about him, uh -huh. and it was good. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And I said he was sitting right behind me, and and we heard he heard my conversation, I heard his conversation, but I didn't know all the time that God had him in the plan. Uh -huh. yeah. He was in the plan He's for today. He's in the plan. Um, I didn't come down here for nothing, but now I understand why. Yes. See, sometimes we don't understand why yes. until it happened. Yes. But I understand right now, now, and there's two young men here. So that means that we're on the team of taking back yes. and taking from the enemy, yes. and the enemy is trying to take from us. Hallelujah. 
So as I said to myself, I said, as I was sitting over there contemplating, what is a message that, that will, 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 will stir up the spirit inside a young man that coming from a place that I've been? Yeah. See, you can look at me now with the robe and, and the glasses and yeah. the shoes, yeah. and, but yeah. I, I've been a place that some of y'all won't like to go. Yeah. I did 30 years in prison. Yeah. The same jail that you see them guys on the news that's being looked after in Clinton, Dallas, I was in there for two years. Yeah. I knew them guys. We ate in the same mess hall. We went to the same library. Yeah. And all the time, when you inside, you're trying to get out. You get it? Trying to get out. Yes. So there was a spirit already in them trying to get out. Mm. Jesus. But the spirit that I had in me was trying to get out too. But we both got out, but I got out on the right side, and they got out on the wrong side. Come on, come on. So eventually, that spirit that got them out is going to bring them back. Woo, but the spirit that got me out, the Bible said who he set free is free indeed. Yes. Hallelujah. So I sing that song. I won't go back. Oh. I don't want to. But I've been to a place that I don't want to go back. Yes. And um, as I was sitting there and I was thinking about a message that God gave me and it said it was all about he made a name for himself. Jesus. See, I wore a red robe because I was representing the blood. Uh -huh. And you know, they got bloods out there. Every time they see me with red on, they say, what's up, big homie? <laughs> are, 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 you, are you blood? <laughs> they were saying that when I was in Attica. They said that when I was in Sing Sing. Because yes. I like to wear red. Red is red. And I said, yeah, I'm blood. <laughs> but I'm blood for Christ. <laughs> See, I represent the blood of Jesus. Yes. Y'all represent the blood that don't matter. Yes. See, I represent the blood that yes. bring life. Yes. I represent the blood that can give you the things that you're trying to steal. Yes. Hallelujah. So when I put this robe on today, it was no coincidence because I'm representing Christ and I'm representing blood. Yes. And those that wear red, when they represent their flag, see, I'm flagging today. Oh, I want you to know that I, I got red on for a reason. Yes. But it's, it's not in what you wear because the Bible says, render your heart, not your garments. So it's not in the red flag. It's not in the blue flag. Yes. It's in what's inside of you. Go ahead now. My Jesus. God. See, some of us don't have nothing inside. That's why we are so easy uh -huh. to join a gang in and have somebody tell us what to do and it's not even right. Yes. Because the leaders are not right. See, I've been around the leaders of the bloods. Uh, uh, Eli Brim, a uh, uh, big homie, is uh, yes, uh, yes, yes. Shaquel, uh, OG Mac. See, I can name them because they know my name. Uh -huh. See, I had a nickname too called Delta. D-O-P-E. Yes. And on yesterday, I was sitting there watching the news, and they flashed a new movie out, and the name of it was Dope. I said, somebody just stole my name. I got a little, a little frustrated, so I said, no, let me stop. <laughs> then I took my name and made a movie out of it. I got a new name for you, amen? But God said, I got a name for you. Yes. It's above all names that you're going to worship. Hallelujah. And the name of Jesus, Jesus. is the name that I, no, 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 no. I love to praise. Uh -huh. See, in the book of Genesis, somebody got to read this thing for me because yes, yes, I couldn't yes, find Genesis, the 17th chapter, uh -huh. and the first verse. They can start reading there. And it was talking about Abraham. So when y'all get it, somebody read it for me. Amen. See, there was two people in this message that God gave me. Their names was Papa. Yes. Their names was the greatest names that ever <laughs> See, but tonight we're going to talk about people with famous names, yeah. like Muhammad Ali and yes. uh, Michael Jordan yes. and, and King James. And, uh, yes. But uh, these are names that people are giving because of the things that they do. But the name here with Abraham, when God was talking to Abraham, somebody got it? Yes. Yes. Verse 1. Verse 1. Genesis chapter 17, verse 1. 
And when Abraham was 90 years old and nine, the Lord appeared to Abraham and said unto him, I am the almighty God, walk before me and be thou perfect. And I will make my covenant between me and you and will multiply you exceedingly. And Abram fell on his face and God talked with him saying, as for me, behold, my covenant is with you, and you shall be a father of many nations. It's Father's Day today. Thank you, Jesus. Neither shall your name any more be called Abram, but your name shall be Abraham, for a father of many nations have I made you. Stop right there. And the reason I had my sister stop right there is because this is where God was talking to Abraham. See, his name was Abram. Yeah. Just like my name was Daryl. But because what God wanted him to do and the things that he was about to do meant your father of many nations, he changed the name to Abraham. And the second part of his name, Ham, means black, which means dark. So a lot of folks will try to say that Abraham was a dark-skinned man, but at that time, if you understood where he came from, because of he walked in the sun so long that his skin had got darkened into the land that he went to. So it wasn't a matter of him being dark or light, but they changed his name because Abraham represented the father of nations that will come serve God. Yes. So people are getting names for the things that they do. If you do something crazy and wrong, they will give you a name and put it in a newspaper. And they will call you a, a psychopath or a, a serial killer or yes, Dave Bundy. They, they give these people these names. And people tend to live and the names start becoming a spirit and become something that make you want to do the things that they call you. Yes, yes, yes. See, when they called me dope, <laughs> I walked around like I was dope. And everything that I wanted to have had to be dope. Yes. Because at that time, the word dope mean nice and good. But all the time, I was really a dope. <laughs> I was really a dope in my mind. Jesus. But, um, Come on, Jesus. And God said that I'm going to give you this message. He made a name for himself. Yes. And did not talk about how much he told Abraham. He said, Abraham, I'm going to not make what you do great, I'm going to make your name great. Yes. So I started wondering about how all these people like Malcolm X and Martin Luther King and all these great people, Obama, and when years to come, that they're making great names for themselves. Yes. And I said, what can I do to make a name for myself? And I said to myself, that if all I got to do is praise God and be called the child yes, of God. Yes, yes, it yes. will be the greatest name of all names. Yes. Because just because your name is great doesn't mean you're gonna make it in. Jesus. But I come to share notice with you tonight. This is for the young people yes. that he said he made a name for himself. We want to talk about somebody that made a name for himself. And the greatest name of all names is Jesus. He was given that name by God. And Jesus means the one that will save his people from their sins. But now that Jesus was given that name because he came all the way down through 42 generations to get that name. But when Jesus got the name Jesus, people didn't understand them because they gave him all kinds of names. They used to call him Hosanna. They used to call him Yahweh. But when he got the name Jesus, it was given above all names, the Bible says. Yes, it is. Hallelujah. And now, the name that you may have doesn't represent anything. The name that you get when you join the military doesn't represent anything. The name that you get on the basketball team doesn't represent anything. The name that you get when you go to prison doesn't represent anything. When you mess with a lot of women doesn't represent anything. When you steal money doesn't represent anything. But this name that we're talking about now is a name above all names. When you call on that name, you call on Jesus in the midnight hour. That name will shake 
Hallelujah. Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And the Bible says, at the name yes. of Jesus, demons tremble. Yes. If you get caught up in the situation, no, 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 and most of the time, unbelievers and people, if they get shot, mm -hmm. they get stabbed, the first thing they do is go, oh God, Jesus. Unconsciously. But guess what? It's the spirit on the inside calling him. Yes, yes. You don't even have to be saved. Mm -hmm. And you get hurt, you say, Jesus, help me. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Yes. And I come to serve another son tonight. Then now that I found out my name didn't represent the kingdom. But I changed my name now to servant. You can call me Brother Daryl. But I like when my sister them call me Elder Bonds. Uh, and Elder represent that I've been in the Lord. Uh, it could be Elder in age. Uh, or Elder in wisdom. Uh, or Elder in the Lord. Uh, see, an uh, Elder is one who should know something. And I just came all the way down here just to leave this message. I came, you know how they say on, on, on YouTube, huh? Oh, you get, you've got mail. <laughs> young man, you've got mail today. Amen. <laughs> Jesus sent y'all some mail. Ding! Ding. <laughs> you want to hear the bell ring. Ding! Hallelujah. Every time you go do something now after today, you want to hear that bell. Ding! Ding. You got mail. Because wow. he made a name for himself. And after this, you're going to make a name for himself. It can be a negative name. But if you seek God, he can turn your negativity into positive. Yes, he can. He made a name mm. for himself, <laughs> a name uh, above all names. Oh, yes, he, did. he changed the way he lived mm. right in front of man. He came down, a man who knew no sin, took on sin, yes, just so he could show you and I that sin has no power over me. He made a name for himself. Yes. David made a name for himself. They called him King David. Yes. Solomon made a name for himself. He was called the wisest man ever lived. Jonah made a name for himself. Daniel made a name for himself. Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego made names for themselves. Everybody that you read about every day in the Bible, they made names for themselves. And the names that they made, that God allowed them to take, it represents the kingdom. Jesus. So I challenge you today, if you want to make a name for yourself, you want to be blood? <laughs> Start out the bloods of Christ and see what, how many people follow you. Because the big homies that y'all following ain't about nothing. Yes, they are. No, they not. Most of them are in the penitentiary with life. That's right. And they're using drugs. They're in their cells. They're getting high. They got 80-year-old women coming on a visit, bringing them drugs. And they're out there sending messages to y'all to go kill the wrong people and telling y'all what to do. And they won't do it themselves. So you're not represent the right way. I challenge you today, what game do you want to join? See, everything today is a game. The Navy is a game. The police department is a game. The fire department is a game. Everything's a game. They even got churches that represent gangs now. Churches are fighting against other churches, just like the game boys are doing. Instead of all of us being one body of Christ, you're not right because y'all got this going on. You're not baptizing in this name. Everything is represented in the game. And the enemy is sitting back laughing. But Jesus had the first game because he picked the 12 disciples. And the Bible says that a game is a group of people that live and act and do things for a cause. So the 12 disciples was for a cause. Jesus told them to go out and preach the gospel into all earth and be a witness. Jesus. So that was the original game. And Jesus was the big homie. 
And when they had the Last Supper, the same way the gangs do it, he sat at the table and gave instructions. Yes, he did. And he gave them the oath. Yes, he did. And the oath was, be saved, sanctified, the Holy Ghost filled. Go into the upper room and don't leave him until you receive power. Yes. See, to be in the right gang, you need power. Yes. You can't get in a gang and don't have nothing. This is what's happening today. People are joining gangs and they don't have nothing. So they just doing anything. And I, I feel a need that I don't care what happened. God gave me a family, a wife, and kids. And I tell my wife every night that you can't stop me from doing what God wants me to do. It was ordained for me to come today. Yes. If I didn't come, I didn't see him yes. or see his brother. And I just leave that message with y'all that you got mail today. Straight from God, Straight not from hell. Thank you, Jesus, for the grace and the mercy. Come on, give him praise. Hallelujah. You got mail today. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. But some of us ain't checking our mail. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ, he died on the cross for our sins. Amen. He said, for those that believe. Amen. Just like if you don't check your mail. If you don't believe, hallelujah, you can't receive. Huh? Yeah. You got to believe and receive. Huh? The man of God said you got mail today. Huh? He says that there's something in the name, huh? in the name of Jesus. Huh? And he says that God will make your name great. Huh? That people are trying to make a name for themselves. Huh? But I heard the word of God say, huh? my people that are called by my name. Huh? Yeah. So no longer are you called by your own name. Huh? But God said that once you uh, accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior, huh? that he will begin to call you by his name. Huh? My people that are called by my name. Huh? Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah. The greatest father that you would ever want to know. You don't have to worry about being a bastard. Huh? Just having your mother's name. Huh? You don't have to worry about the name that they called you. Huh? I had to apply the blood to the name of Asia. Huh? Many times. Hallelujah. Why? So I had to apply the blood that anything working through that, that it won't work no more. Yeah. That it will not be a conduit, a, a conductivity for anything demonic. Come on now. Yeah. But now I'm called by the name of Jesus. Uh, he says that my people are called by my name. You want a great name? Accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. The man of God said, him that knew no sin came down 40 and two generations and shed his blood and tore his skin. He says, no one can take my life. He says, I give it up. I give it up. He lived on that cross until he said it is finished. And then he gave up the ghost. Amen. That's the type of God we serve. That's the name I want to be called by. That name that's above any other name. Every other name, the name that is put above the very word of God. And the word of God is truth. Yes. Hallelujah. Jesus. What name are you called by today? Can you say today that you are called by God's name? Can you say it without a doubt? Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Can you say that you belong to the Lord? Jesus. Hallelujah. If he stepped on a cloud today and the trumpet sound, hey, hey. hallelujah, will you be one to get raptured up? Hallelujah. Preach. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Oh, glory to his name. Yes. We just had nine martyrs got killed in Bible study. Martyrs, this is nothing new. There was martyrs even in the book of Acts in the early church. Stephen got stoned. Yes. And he said, as Jesus was on his feet, uh -huh. he looked up to the heavens and saw Jesus on his feet. And he said, hold not this charge against them. For they know not what they do, the love of God, the spirit of God that dwelt within Stephen, that proclaimed the gospel to those that stoned him. Mm -hmm. This 
This ain't nothing new. Nine martyrs for the church. But the church is to show love. The spirit of God has to be there. And that spirit of God is love. Yes, it is. Amen. There was a name made for Stephen that day. He was the man that was the first martyr that was that had died for this gospel. Jesus. The first martyr after Pentecost had came. Because we know that there was many before him that was beheaded. John the Baptist was one. That was another great name. Mm -hmm. My God. Only what we do for the kingdom of God will last. Everything else, you can have a name doing all kinds of things like the man of God said. And it won't mean nothing. But if you want your name to go down in history. Hallelujah. I heard the word of God says that heaven and earth shall pass away. Everything is going down but the word. If you want your name to really go down in history, you better be doing it for the kingdom. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. God, he is the father of all. Yes. You will find no greater father than he. Amen. If you be in Christ, you get to call out my father to the yes. creator. Yes, hallelujah. Hallelujah. So just based on what the Holy Spirit spoke through the man of God today, and the greatness of the name, I don't know who don't want a great name. The young man that did the shooting, he said he wanted them to tell his story because he wanted his name to be great. He didn't care how it got great, if it got great for killing innocent people and spilling innocent blood. He just wanted a great name. My God. But I heard the church respond. And that church said, I forgive. They said, but you need to repent. Because your very soul is at stake. Yes. That was the heart of the church speaking. The church responds to the violence of the world. The word of God says that the kingdom suffered violence and the violent taken by force. Yes. But our weapons of warfare is not carnal in nature, but mighty in God. Down a stronghold. Hallelujah. Jesus. So they taught the enemy plan. Because the enemy thought that he had one that's going to spend the rest of his life in jail. But if he accepts Christ, amen, he'll make it in. He killed nine, but because they believed, they died that death and their body is going back to the dust of the earth. Huh? But their spirit shall live forever. Nobody lost. That was a win-win situation because the church had a great response. Hallelujah. Now those that are committing murder, child molesters, Jesus. believe that there's no salvation for you. You have no place to go. The example of the church is that there's a place here for you. God made a place for you. He made a name for you if you want it. He died in your place. Yes, he did. If you would just believe and receive it, even the sin that you have committed that you believe that is so heinous, the blood still works. Yes, it does. The response of the church said that there's a place here for you. We opened you up into our Bible study. Did I hear them say? And they still had open arms of forgiveness. And still ask him to repent that his very soul gets saved. So oh my God. Jesus. That should be the response of the church. Yeah. We can't take arms. God says, vengeance is mine, I will recompense. That's right. You go ahead and, and you revenge yourself and you make God back up. Mm. Amen. Jesus. Let God have his way. Yes. Let him have his way. When Stephen got stoned, that sent the church out more, preaching the gospel in the street. It scattered the church and the gospel was being preached everywhere. After the stoning of Stephen, our very prayers at Cornerstone 
was that the Holy Spirit set a fire on the church that they proclaimed these gospels in the street like never before. Because the very songs depend on it. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. The only way that a man can be saved is that they must hear the death, the burial, the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Jesus. Now that's the love of a father. Mm -hmm. He wrapped his own word in flesh. Mm -hmm. Because of the judgment of man. Now that's a father. Man was disobedient and needed. And he had to render judgment on man because he is just. He rendered that judgment. And how do he show his mercy and his love and still be just? He wrapped himself in flesh and dwelt among us and died in our place. Now that's a father. Now that's a father. Jesus. That's a friend. Mm. Hallelujah. Yes. How many friends are willing to die for you? Jesus. All of that big homie stuff. How many friends are willing to die for you? Yeah. My God. Jesus. And I'm not just talking about just die that you live just another day because they're going to come looking for you again. I'm talking about die and give you eternal life. Who got that kind of power? Jesus ain't just died. He died and he gave up something. He gave up his life and he resurrected himself that we may have eternal life. Come on now. Hallelujah. Jesus. Don't die for me and I ain't going to gain nothing. I'm going to have the same problems I had when you died. Mm. They're going to still be seeking me and searching for me. Amen. Mm -hmm. Eternal life. That's what the man of God said today. He died that you may have eternal life. That you don't have to continue to live life like you used to. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Mm -hmm. And for those of you that heard this gospel preached on today by Elder Roland Barnes, yes. you ain't got to get with Big Homie. You ain't got to rep blood or crip. RS13 or whatever it is that you may be a part of. Amen. You ain't got to be a part of that. What are they really offering? Mm -hmm. But you want to get with something? Come on and rep Jesus. Rep the blood of Jesus Christ. Cross over on the right side. Amen. Get on that side that's going to give you eternal life. Yes. Hallelujah. The love of a father. So I ask you today, if you heard this gospel preacher, you believe, just repeat these words after me, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. I'm a sinner. I'm a sinner. In my sins. In my sins. Lord, save me. Me. Wash me in your blood. Come into my heart. Oh, I believe, I believe that you are Lord, you are Lord and that you resurrected. That you resurrected. Baptize, me Baptize me with your Holy Ghost and fire. Ghost in, Jesus fire. in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus name. And when you stand, you will say, but don't just stand there. <coughs> Go and find you a church where Jesus Christ and crucified. And, Pentecost, and his resurrection and Pentecost is being preached and taught. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. And get baptized with the Holy Ghost yes. and mature in the things of God. Amen. Amen. Amen.